Why should COVID-19 infected individuals be hospitalized immediately? 44 deaths caused due to pneumonia, a complication of COVID-19, have been reported yesterday. 14 deaths had occurred at homes, while four individuals had succumbed to the infection while being moved to hospitals. Instead of keeping infected individuals at homes by assuming that they would be refused admission to hospitals, you must take steps to move such patients to hospitals without any delay. Hospitals cannot refuse the admission of infected individuals. What steps must be taken if patients are refused admission to hospitals? The Health Services Director General has clearly said that the necessary steps must be taken to ensure the safety and protection of such individuals. The hospitals have made the relevant arrangements in this regard. We wish to inform the public that any individual requiring emergency treatment, be it for COVID-19 or any other disease, has the right to receive treatment. The Health Ministry has taken all relevant measures to ensure that these rights are protected. If there is a delay in this process, you can inform us on our hotline. We will take steps to rectify it. Forty percent of the infected individuals are dying at home. This situation is bad. There are 31,884 COVID-19 infected individuals. If there is a two-fold increase in the numbers, it would match the capacity of beds in Sri Lanka's health sector. The virus is spreading rapidly. There are concerns on whether the government is paying enough attention to this.